for a missing businessman who hasn't been seen or heard from in nearly a week. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty joins us now. And Dan, hundreds of people have been helping with the search there. Yeah, uh, police officers helping, 10 FBI agents assigned to this case. You mentioned hundreds of people from this community and around this area, and all searching for a man whose disappearance is still a total mystery. Members of the search party walk through the woods in the North Chagrin Reservation, but still no sight of 41 year old Pat Borelli. So the search area is growing. We're going a little bit south and west. We're going to Broadview Heights. We're going to Long 480. We're going down to Moreland Hills and then across to the west side, across 480, I guess, is the dividing line. So we're continuing, and as you can see, the turnout is, is pretty amazing. Hundreds of people have filed through the search headquarters in Richmond Heights, next to the Via D. Borelli Banquet Hall, Pat's business, and the last place he was seen. We're just brokenhearted over what's happening, and we just want to do our little part to help. And Jameson and her husband have been searching all weekend. So have police and the FBI. None of them know what happened to the businessman, husband, and father, and nothing has been ruled out yet. Praying, hoping, um, just saying a lot of prayers. And the people hoping those prayers are answered soon say they're prepared to keep looking as long as they have to. We just want him home safely. His wife and children and his families just are desperate to have him return safely. We're trying to help out here. Um, it is kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack. We're not giving up. We're not giving up until Pat is home. And also still no sign of the vehicle he was last seen driving from his business. It's a blue 2005 Dodge minivan with a license plate that reads takeout. And the family members say they will be back here at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to look further. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.